you smile in the morning Following the linings on your cheeks Cause baby in your absence life is boring So I'll never leave Welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel today is my very first day as a new grad nurse on the unit um, I have had orientation this past week so I have like done all of that stuff so this is actually my first day on the floor and like with my preceptor and with patients and I'm just I'm really excited uh, right now I have my galaxy blue scrubs on which is my scrub color for the nurses at my hospital I have my little uterus badge which I always had in nursing school if you guys watch my videos I love this little uterus badge so I have that I finally have a little RN badge and I'm wearing this cute little jacket that my friend Kelly actually got for me yesterday so it's been really comfortable um, I have pink baby feet on my headband I got this off of Etsy and then down here I have my rainbow unicorn socks which I'm so excited to be wearing they're brand new I freaking love them and my electron rose cloves so I just feel like a nurse today and it feels great, so I'm really excited. Um, this is also my first time on day shift since literally a year ago um, for clinical, so my past year of clinical has been night shift, so this is like very different for me. Um, I really didn't know what to expect with like traffic. Um, I really don't remember like how my body functioned on day shifts, so I like brought more than enough food. So I have my lunchbox in here. I have grapes and strawberries. I have some Cheetos. I have a protein bar. And then I have some chicken with pesto on it. So that is what I have for my options. Um, I have my big water bottle because my goal is to be a better water drinker on the unit, especially on day shift. So I'm going to try my best to drink this, but I've never actually had this much water before probably. So it probably won't happen, but it's still my goal. And then I have my pink Bag Smart backpack right here. It's the same backpack I used in nursing school in there I have my little bullet journal I have a binder that has my new grad stuff which I will show you guys tonight actually and then I have my little clipboard binder and then like my stethoscope pen lights all the things like that so I will show you guys a little backpack tour eventually and then maybe I'll do a, like what do I take to work video once I actually know what I need for work I don't want to make it yet because then I might say wrong things so yeah I'm really excited if you're new to my channel I am a mother baby nurse so I'm super happy mother baby was my favorite going in honestly Honestly, I knew I wanted to go into women's health no matter what like women's health care is just so important and something I'm very passionate about especially in the climate we live in right now and it's actually a really hard thing to start work today because it's just been like constantly on my mind so I'm trying to think of like ways to cope with that and realize like I'm just a nurse and I can only do so much um, but I hope I can somewhat make a difference in people's lives regardless of what's going on in the world it's just really hard to go into women's health right now I just wanted to preface with that this is a really hard first day to have but I've always been very passionate about women's health and I knew I wanted to go into it when I did my OB rotations I was like assuming I was gonna want to do labor and delivery but then something kept pulling at my heartstrings to go with mother baby and actually when I was doing my job applications I like could barely bring myself to put labor and delivery on my preference list because I knew that I liked mother baby more so here I am, a literal mother baby nurse, so excited. I have my license, I'm done with school, and yeah, this is like the honeymoon phase for sure of getting into this career. It's a really awkward honeymoon phase to navigate just based on like the political atmosphere that I'm walking into and like this new hospital. I just moved to San Antonio, so yeah. Also, I would like to say now going forward, and I'm gonna probably mention it in as vetting the in as many videos as I can remember, but all views expressed in these videos are my own. Um, I am a registered nurse, but they are not the views of my hospital, so I would like to go ahead and just say that so that I can, you know, cover my grounds, but I'm really excited. I think I'm gonna go ahead and head in. I got here pretty early. It's still only 6.25, and I don't have to be here until 6.45, but I'm scared of getting lost, y'all, so I'm just gonna go ahead and head down, and I can't vlog, obviously, during the day but I can't wait to recap you on what's going on and also 
the rest of this weekend because today's Saturday. I'm also working Sunday and Monday, so I will vlog my whole first few days and the experience. Monday's actually a new grad class for IV therapy, which I'm really excited about because I think that it'll be like a good refresher for me to do IV therapy and also just to learn kind of the IV um, standards for my hospital. So really excited, but I'll keep you guys updated on how I'm doing and how this like first experience is going. I'm definitely pretty nervous. Um, it's been a while since I've been in a hospital, but I'm excited. So anyways, I will talk to you guys later. I'll see y'all at the end of my shift. Hello, I survived my first shift ever. Um, I actually just got Kane, scarfed it down and then came home. So I didn't do anything. I literally just scarfed it down, talked to Kyle and drove home, but it was a really good shift and I'm feeling good. So basically I'm just gonna give like a rundown of my shift really quick, but I got there, I met my preceptor, met our patients, we did bedside report, which is something new to me. I've never done bedside report before, so that was good. Learned a little bit about the charting system, learned about the hospital, hospital and everything. Um, I had my lunch round one, which was really good. Chef's kiss. It was pesto chicken that Kyle made for me last night while I was sleeping. Like literally every person deserves someone like Kyle. I'm so lucky. But anyways, um, I had my pesto chicken. I had my strawberries and grapes. I had um, a couple Cheetos, but I really wasn't hungry enough to actually eat them. And then I still have a protein bar and I did really well with my water. Let me show y'all. So I stopped being able to drink it after like it got crazy, but I made it to three o'clock actually keeping up with the water, which I know is like not close to the end. Like it's literally eight o'clock, so I'm five hours off. But like, I was actually doing really well and I like got ahead during lunch, but we did have COVID patients, so I couldn't like have my water with me and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, I was in an N95 most of the day, which is why my face is like a little bit red, but yeah, so happy with that. Proud of myself for drinking water. That's more water than I normally drink, so proud of myself still. And then I was gonna give y'all a little what's in my backpack tour, but I won't do that until I've showered and I'll give y'all a little tour when I get up to my apartment, when I'm like showered and clean. Cause I just wanna go up there, take my clothes off, get in the shower, and Kyle's gonna wash my clothes for me and yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then when I'm like dressed and ready for bed, I will give you guys a little tour of like what I put in my backpack. Keep in mind, I'm a new grad, so don't copy my backpack entirely if you're like looking for what mother baby nurses actually need because I'm probably gonna be missing some stuff, but I still wanna show you guys what I've been using as a new grad um, for right now. So anyways, that's all I have for the little update. It's been good. Um, I felt good all day too. I didn't know if I was going to need caffeine or anything just because I'm not used to doing day shifts, but I honestly feel fine. Um, I took ibuprofen during the day cause I got really bad cramps, but other than that, I felt really good. Um, I'm going to head upstairs now and take a shower, hang out with Kyle and Shamu and show you guys what's in my bag. All right, vlog, my hair is still wet. I just got out of the shower. I'm wearing my pajamas, trying to get comfortable, and it is 8.52, which is very concerning because I am updating this video. I am ending my video for last week, if you're watching this, so basically for tomorrow. And then I have to edit and upload and do all the tags, descriptions, thumbnails, everything for this video. So I'm gonna be up very late. Um, so honestly, being a YouTuber is really hard. <laughs> Um, but I honestly I haven't been the best about filming. I did film like some of my wedding planning stuff But I haven't filmed like a true vlog until now and it's been several weeks But honestly, I've just been in like a weird funk. Um, it's been hard to like create content Especially with like a lot of sad things going on on the news and just in life um, so it's hard to not Or it's hard to make content when you like feel not good. You know what I mean? Um, but anyways, today I am filming and I want to show you guys what was in my bag today. So this is my backpack. It's the BagSmart pink bag. I got this on Amazon. I literally love it. I used it for all of nursing school and it's so great. I highly recommend. So the top unzips here and in here I just have my pink clipboard, which I used for all clinical already. So you've seen this before. I have my new PD stethoscope, which if you guys watched my NCLEX video, I bought this for myself as a gift for when I passed the NCLEX and I didn't open it until I passed. So that was exciting, but it says Erica RNVSN on it. I literally love it. I've actually used this one more than I've used my adult one today, um, which I feel like is gonna probably be a trend. Not sure. I tried to use both, but like this one kind of worked for both pretty well. So I'm not sure. 
But yeah, here's my PD stethoscope. It's in Caribbean blue. It's a Littman Classic 2, I think. And then I also have my like women's services new grad book that I have to do and it's for mother baby. And there's just like a ton of skills and like random things I have to fill out in this by the end of my orientation. So that is my little skills book that I keep in here. Um, I have this pink binder, which also has a lot of personal info so i'm not going to open it but it has like my new employee onboarding document it just like has like a lot of information for like payroll um like benefits like random stuff like that and then in here is also all my employee health documents like my tv screening and all that and it has my licenses so like my bls nrp rn all that kind of stuff is in here and then on the back I have this little card that my sister made for me and it was for my 24th birthday. It says, hey Erica, happy 24th birthday. Here are the things that I love about you. And she said, you're confident, you're a baddie. You don't care what other people think. You're cool, pretty, and funny. You're obsessed with Shamu, which is true. And you're not scared easily. And I just thought that was like so empowering. So I put that on my binder because I thought it was cute. So that's on the back. But anyways, this is my binder and I'm basically keeping like all of my notes and everything in there. Um, this is a little bullet journal that Adele gave me during big little reveal. So I'm using it right now for like new grad stuff. Um, I'm basically just taking notes on like codes that I should know, things on the unit, things I need to learn or like improve on or like go through. And then also my preceptor gave me a bunch of information on like charting, like what to chart um, upon like admission and discharge. Um, all of their like critical levels, like what they use for like their Billy Rubin count and stuff like that. Um, the Edinburgh scale, which is for postpartum depression. Um, so just like a lot of information about my unit specifically and like the values and stuff that they use. So that is in here. Um, I have my camera case because I was vlogging today and you guys are on my camera, which was also in my bag. I have my pulse ox on here, which I never use in the hospital, but I just keep it attached here anyways. The only time I ever use it honestly is at home when people are sick. Um, and then in here I have a pen light, some pens. This is where my PD stethoscope was, but it's out right now. And then I have my adult bandage scissors, which are pink. And then I have my pink PD or my pink adult stethoscope is also in here. And that one is a Litman Classic 3. And then yeah, that's all for that pocket. And then this bottom pocket down here, I have a few things in there. So I have my wallet, so that's in there. Um, I have some ibuprofen. I have this little thing. It has like just like a bunch of emergency stuff, like some hair clips, pads, tampons, um, Benadryl, that kind of thing in here. And I just throw that in my bag. And then I have my inhaler, LOL. And that's basically a tour of my bag. And then the other stuff that I just threw into my bag last minute, I have pens. This one's like multicolored. My friend Maddie gave it to me. It's really cute. It's like a little bunny ear thing. So cute. Um, I have my pink highlighter, which I used for report. I have my other pen light, which happened to just be in my pocket. And then I also have like my headband, which I took off when I got in the car. And then these cute little rainbow metallic bandage scissors for like babies um, that my preceptor gave me today. So, so cute that she thought of me and got me these little scissors. They're so cute. So that's that. Um, basically everything is done for the night. I do need to um, update my wedding planning video, which you guys will have already seen by the time this video comes out, but I have a few updates to share on there. And then I have to edit and upload that video. So I'm gonna be working on that tonight. It's currently nine o'clock, so hopefully we can get this done. Okay, so I just filmed the intro and outro for my new video. Um, so that means I need to take out my SD card, upload everything onto my laptop and start editing. But before I do that, there is one tradition I wanted to start um, because it's my first day as like a registered nurse with my license working with my patients. So today I have this little mason jar that is currently empty and I got these beads off of Amazon. So I have pink beads for the girls, blue beads for the boys, and then white beads for any angel babies. So. Hopefully I won't be using a lot of white beads. But today I got to work with three babies and all of them were girls, which I love. Girl power. So I'm super excited. This is like a moment. One, two, three. So yeah, anyways, there's my jar. It now has 
three beads in it i thought that like maybe if i'm having like a hard day and it's hard for me to be motivated i can like see some of the beads in this jar and think about all of the babies who are now home with their parents because of my care so i just thought this would help like uplift me on rough days and today was very exciting to work with three young women who i know will be beautiful strong willed women so i'm very excited Anyways, I'm gonna put that away and I'm gonna go ahead and start editing. Um, hopefully I don't have to stay up too late tonight because I'm pretty tired from just the day and just like the anxiety and everything that I am a content creator. So we're gonna make some content and make this happen. Okay, luckily that video was super easy to edit. That was like the fastest editing I've ever done, literally like half an hour. So luckily it was really easy and short to edit. And I hope you guys still enjoy my wedding planning videos. Um, I don't really know like what you guys have been thinking lately. I've honestly been getting less comments. So please let me know what you guys like to see. Obviously you're gonna see more nursing stuff coming out within the next few weeks, but I had to take a little break from that between graduation and starting my job. But luckily I did put out an NCLEX video and all that. So anyways, um, while that uploads on YouTube, I did get some stuff to lay out for tomorrow. So I am kind of getting ready in the office room so I don't have to wake up Kyle so early in the morning. So I just kind of trying to lay my stuff out. So here is like my sports bra for tomorrow. I have these polka dot socks for tomorrow. And then I have my scrubs, which I just got three pairs of the like Med Couture Activate style. I got it on Amazon. They're super comfy and honestly, they're pretty flattering. Um, I got a large for the top and then I got larges for the bottoms on accident and honestly they're a little bit too big so I think I'm going to get mediums but they're not like too big to where I can't wear them they're just like not as like flattering as I thought they would be so yeah take it for what you want I'm 5'4 and yeah but I always get large tops because I have like big boobs and like I don't like things to be really tight right there so that's why I got a large top and then yeah so I have these and I got the jogger style bottoms just because I think that's the most flattering on me I don't really have a booty or anything to like show off but it's more like the way it fits on my legs it just doesn't look good whenever they don't like kind of cinch at the bottom so anyways that is my outfit for tomorrow so I have it laid out right here and then I also have some N95s in my bag that are like unused from when I did critical care rotations. I think I have like five left and they actually didn't have N95s in my size today. They were too small. Um, I wear like a size regular N95. So I don't know why there weren't any regulars today, but just in case I didn't want to bring my own N95 so I can like make sure that I have them because I don't want to be wearing N95s that are too small for me going forward. Um, it was probably just like an accident today and they probably just like need to restock, but it's a weekend and like tomorrow's Sunday. So I'd rather be safe than sorry so i'm gonna go ahead and take my own just in case and then just so i like never forget my badge i do clip this onto my backpack that way i can never actually forget it because it's on my backpack ready to go when i'm like leaving in the morning so that is my outfit for tomorrow i have my backpack packed back up from unpacking it so this is ready to go and then I'm going to be wearing my pink clothes tomorrow. I have the Electron Rose and then like the solid pink ones. These were actually gifted, but the original ones I bought and I just love them. So I was super sad that I did not get the pride clothes in time. I was literally obsessed with the rainbow bottoms. So yeah, next time they do a drop, please tag me in it so I don't miss it because I'm literally obsessed. But that is all I have for my nursing stuff. I have my headband that I'm just stacking on top, leaving in here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and finish this video. I still need to take like little screenshots from the video to make my thumbnail, and then I need to do the description and like all the tags. But other than that, it's ready to go, thankfully, so it will come out during my shift tomorrow. And it's still 9.50. I did kinda wanna go to bed before 11, just cause I have to wake up at five, but honestly, I'm kind of proud of myself for like pulling off a whole video and putting it together in one night. And it's almost 10 minutes long, so it's not like major short. Um, but I promise from now on, my content's gonna get better. I just was in a weird funk. I took like a lot of breaks from like vlogging. I didn't vlog my birthday, which is like unlike me. Um, I just felt kind of not the best. So yeah, but it's okay. 
everything's getting better and things are starting to make more sense and i will be posting more so i hope you guys still enjoy the wedding content okay my video is now posted everything is done for it besides the thumbnail which i always do on my phone i use a couple different apps to do my thumbnails so i'm honestly just gonna get in bed and do my thumbnail in bed but it is currently 10 2 p.m i took one melatonin which is literally a milligram and a half so like barely any because i'm already tired naturally and then i took my normal medication so kind of like sitting up for like just a second with that since i just drank my drink and i'm gonna brush my teeth and go straight to sleep after i post that thumbnail so my video is basically ready to go honestly i'm surprised that i got it done so fast and i'm gonna go to sleep and kyle's waiting for me to go to sleep too so i'll talk to y'all tomorrow <laughs> Good morning, welcome to day two of my first shifts of work vlog. Um, somebody is in the car next to me and they're sitting in their car like looking out the window so that's why I'm holding my camera kind of low right now because I'm embarrassed, lol. But yeah, today's day two, it's Sunday. Um, it's my second floor shift so I'm gonna have a different preceptor today and I'm ready to take on the day. I had a bagel for breakfast this morning, a blueberry bagel with blueberry cream cheese so I doubled up the blueberry. Um, I also woke up with really bad cramps so I just took some medicine Hopefully it kicks in soon because I'm like not feeling very well. Tomorrow I have IV therapy day. So today's like my last floor shift for a few days, which is nice. Um, Cause I don't know if I'm ready to just do three floor shifts in a row. Right now it is 6.30. The earliest I can clock in is 6.38. So I don't want to like walk in way too early and then just like stand there awkwardly. So I'm just going to wait like a few minutes in my car before I walk in. But I'm ready to take on the day and also just excited because i will have like a full-time job now like full-time hours i can actually afford things so that's gonna be nice and that's kind of one of my main motivations right now because honestly to be completely honest i already feel like a little drained considering like the state of the world and just like seeing covid on the rise again and just makes me sad so i'm trying not to like make myself get too sad over it and think about how i love the people in front of me and the people in my beds and making money so it's gonna be okay i'm gonna go ahead and put my camera away but i brought i brought the same lunch as i got yesterday kyle repacked it for me when i went to sleep last night so thank you kyle and then he refilled my water bottle and i have my backpack with the same stuff as yesterday so we're just repeating basically yesterday um but i'll let you guys know if i have the same patience or like how my day is going and all that so i'll see you guys in about 12 and a half hours hello it is now 7 18 p.m it's day two I survived um it was actually a good day it was actually a really hard day like everybody kept being very stressed out and frazzled um and I still felt like okay but it's definitely like my feet are aching my hair like is not even in a braid anymore like I've just been everywhere but I feel like it was a good day and I learned a lot and I did get to keep one of my patients from yesterday and she was the sweetest ever. So that was nice to have like continuity there. Um, but yeah, I just like met a lot of people and did a good job today. So I'm really proud of myself and I'm in a good mood. I think this morning I was in like a weird mood where I was like nervous and anxious and like just everything made me sad and stressed out. But I'm feeling a little bit better now or a lot, a lot of it better now. Um, so yeah, so I'm headed home. My feet hurt so bad. I just want to take a shower and be clean um, And then I have kind of three days off not really tomorrow I have like my IV class, which it's like literally only like four hours or something So it's not a big deal um, and it's not super early, but it's downtown which I hate driving downtown. So there's that but yeah um, I'm gonna go ahead and start driving home. I want to call my mom because my mom texted me a little bit ago So I'm gonna call my mom on my way home and I will talk to you guys Later tonight, but it was a good day. So good and busy day, but a good learning opportunity. So I'm in a good mood the light in your eyes tells me stories of life in a perfect place where I wanna stay We 
just got home. We went and got McDonald's for dinner. My clothes are in the wash and Kyle's putting away the dishes because he's an angel. And yeah, but I'm gonna go to sleep. It's 9.30 and I'm really tired. Right now I'm wearing my mother baby nurse merch shirt. So if you want to also match me and get a mother baby nurse shirt, please check out the link down below on my merch store. You can also get like a NICU version, a labor and delivery version, obstetrics, pediatrics. I have lots of different versions. So anyways, check it out if you haven't yet. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep. I'm really tired. I'm gonna brush my teeth and I'll talk to y'all in the morning before my IV therapy class. week so it's the last day of the little week I have um, today's gonna be super short and chill it starts at 9 actually it's 8 o'clock right now and I have to drive downtown and it's gonna be a day of practicing IVs the way that they do IVs and then learning like their fluid maintenance protocol and stuff like that I'm pretty sure at least that's what I've been told I'm excited because I feel like it's really nice to have a skills refresher especially as a new grad who's not doing a residency program so having these like little skills classes available on orientation are very nice and it's also just extra money for like a short period of work so I'm not mad about it but I am about to head downtown I'm leaving pretty early just because I'm scared about driving downtown like getting lost and like not knowing where to go so I'm leaving a little bit earlier than I normally would also I was just like awake and ready to go earlier than I normally would be so whatever but yeah I'm pretty tired from yesterday my feet still kind of ache so I was not expecting that um, definitely yesterday though everybody said their feet hurt so like it wasn't just me they said it was the busiest day they've had all year so I'm like okay great all I brought today was my backpack and like whatever was in it I had taken some things out of my backpack Kyle unloaded my lunchbox I didn't eat my little protein bars or my Cheetos, so those are just like back in the pantry because all I ate were the fruit and the chicken, which is actually really healthy, so go me for that. Um, and then I just brought like a little water bottle. I didn't bring like my big one, so. I brought my backpack just in case there's anything in my like new grad binder I have to add to or like get signed or anything like that. So I went ahead and brought that. And then I did add my beads to my jar for my two baby boys and my baby girl. I had four couplets, but one of those four were the ones that I had the day before. So I'm only putting in like a bead for like a new baby. Like they're each individual people, not like patients per day, if that makes sense. I really love the jar, especially now that it has blue in it. It's really cute. I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get downtown just because I'm a little anxious about driving over there. Probably will get there earlier than I need to be, but last time I got there super early and they let me in early and I got out early, so possibility. All right, vlog update. I just made it. Um, it is 8.23, so I'm here super early, so I thought I would sit in my car for just a minute. Also, I'm right under a highway. That's why it's super loud. But I'm wearing the same outfit as I've been wearing, this jacket, which honestly, I think I need to get another one because I did wash this. It's fresh out of the dryer, but since I'm wearing this like every day, all the time, I think I should have two. I'm definitely like tired, but I'm also like awake, if that makes sense. Like, I feel more alive today because I got to wake up when like the sun was rising instead of before I definitely sound more tired than I actually am so there's that I will talk to y'all when I get back from IV class um, I'm probably not gonna get to vlog in there if I can I'll make a few little little clips maybe I can like send y'all a picture of my IVs or something like that I'm actually pretty good at IVs too so not to flex but I will send my IVs in here all right I just got home it actually was a lot longer than I thought it was it's now 1 30 and I just got home but I got some extra time and I might be going overtime now so that's actually kind of exciting I just got home I have a lot to do and Kyle's working so I don't know if he's on a meeting which is why I'm vlogging in my car so when I get home basically I want to work on my slides and like organize my stuff on my computer organize my backpack go through my new grad stuff and like make my checklist so I might not be talking for a minute just because he might be on calls but it was good I started a beautiful IV um, I put a picture of it so now y'all can appreciate my IV I'm gonna go ahead and head upstairs get my stuff done and I'll talk to y'all in a little while You'll be the one to pull me back in 
basically worked on a lot of little things for the rest of the day and I took a little baby nap a little bit ago so I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog because this is like my first week of work now and it's over and I get two days off so I'm so excited to actually get some stuff done but Kyle and I just went through and compared some prices for photographers for the wedding because the photographer is calling me back tomorrow that I think we're booking and I got some stuff done for tutoring because I'm tutoring tomorrow and I facilitated a session tonight and I worked this morning so I actually made some money today but it wasn't like a long day so that's good but I'm ready for bed I'm pretty tired it is 10 o'clock I'm surprised that I made it this long but I hope you guys liked this first little week in my life there's gonna be a lot of things coming up that I'm going to do so I want to make like a new report sheet and I want to like organize some of my new grad notes and maybe I'll make like an Etsy shop or post my PDF somewhere for y'all if any of y'all are also mother baby nurses or curious so that's something that I've been considering so if you have any like feedback or ideas let me know down below but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you watched this whole video comment some stethoscope emojis down below because why not if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already and I'm excited to embark on this new journey with y'all despite all the anxiety and stuff that I feel right now I know it's gonna get just a little worse before it gets better but I'm excited to just document this whole little journey with y'all just like I've been documenting this whole time so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one bye it's easier to love. Oh.